Carmel Atlantean was not what I expected to see in this set, but okay. Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. Now I'm wondering, did this mean that we're not getting the Atlantean structure deck this year? Because uh, the fact that they dumped this support in here is kind of crazy. So this is Mermel Shadow Bodyguards. Uh, this is actually kind of cool. This is a 0-19. So this card is always treated as an Atlantean card. I always wanted a card that would double as like multiple archetypes here, but that's pretty cool. So you can use the first sec effects this card's name once return. So we can discard a card to the graveyard. Uh, the levels of all water monsters you currently control become seven until the end of this turn. So there's your level modifier. The whole point of this card is it's another effect to pitch via a cost and be able to do your thing. If this card is sent to the graveyard to activate a water monster's effect, special summon one level four or lower Atlantean or Mermel monster from the deck, except for the Mermel Shadow Bodyguards. Also, you have to some from the rest of, uh, from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except for water. Uh, this card, I personally think, is really good. Um, we now have, I mean, Dragoons adds. Now you have, you know, extra copies of this. Though I will tell you, this being limited to a once per turn does kind of stink uh, in terms of your limitations, but I, I can understand why they kind of wanted to limit this a wee little bit. Next up here is the Abyss Harin, the Atlantean Spirit. So this card is always treated as a Mermel card. So they are they are bridging the gap here with this. Both of our new support cards are both uh, archetypes. Okay. So this is going to be 16, 16, level 3. Uh, you can only use the first and second effects of this card's name once per turn. So we contribute this card from your hand and an Atlantean or Mormel monster from your hand to take a level 7 Sea Serpent or Aqua monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or special summon it and you can also summon from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except for water monsters. Uh, that's pretty good until this thing gets ashed. <laughs> Uh, but, I mean, you distributed your stuff so you can do your thing. During your opponent's turn, quick effect, you banish this card from the graveyard, discard a card to the graveyard to draw a card. So basically what they they want you to do here is they want you to be able to, you know, trigger your landing effects during your opponent's turn, get the filtering options of those going. Um, we've, I mean, there's not really a lot else you'll be able to do because, like, you have the ability to, like, blow up a monster and then you have the ability to blow up you know a set so a little bit rough but okay I, I do think that this card is very good though I wish it had a tributed effect that'd be bonkers in my opinion giving it the third but they think that this being able to tribute this off and go get the big cards that you need is good enough now there is this creature this is our big fat boss monster and it is going to require three level sevens to make it. You heard me say that correctly. All right, a little bit crazy, but sure. Once per turn, you can also exceed summon Poseidra, the Abyss, the Atlantean Dragon Deity, using an Atlantean or a Mermail. Exceeds monster you control. Um, do we have Atlantean Exceeds monsters? Do they just future proof this? Okay, well, that's interesting. Or, you know, you can also exceed something itself on top of itself. That's uh, one big thing that they were trying to do there. Once per turn, detach two materials from this card, send a water monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard, return up to three cards your opponent controls to the hand. Now, if, for whatever reason, uh, this card, um, you know, you, you hard make it with three level sevens, uh, you and you detach a two and they negate it and not destroy it like they showed on the thing You could technically slap another copy of itself on top of itself so that you could cheese do the thing Realistically, that's not gonna happen, but it is a cool cool little thought here If this exceeds some of the card is sent to the graveyard, you can discard one card to the graveyard Special summon three level three or lower sea serpent fish or aqua monsters From your hand and or graveyard. Why does it have to be level three or lower? That means, yeah, we can get back the Marksman. Yeah, we can get back some of the lesser desirables, but that's a little bit rough. Okay, I didn't even... We got a new Link 2? No, this is a Link 3. All right, well, I, that's a commitment. That's a commitment. You're asking a lot for Mermaid Landing here. So this is 2+. plus. 
including a fish, sea serpent, or aqua monster. I, I guess I can get behind that. That's not the worst. You can use the second and third effects of this card's name once per turn. So your opponent cannot target water monsters this card points to. Well, I mean, I would hope so for a Link 3 commitment. That's still a lot. If a water monster or monsters is sent to the graveyard to activate a card, you can take an abyss equipped spell card from your deck or graveyard and either add it to your hand or equip it to this card. Hey! This gives us use of the other terrible scales, all right? Though you already know you're just going to pull out the equip spell and then load it onto this, so that's fine. If this card is destroyed by your opponent, you can add an Atlantean or Mermail from your deck to your hand. Well, this should have been a link to. I'm going to be very realistic here. Like, th this card is a little bit rough around the edges, but that's fine. Next up is the Abysting of Tyrania. Oh boy, so we have Poseidon's little uh, throw here. Equip spell card, you can activate one card with this card's name per turn, and you only use the third effect of this card's name once per turn. So, we can special summon an Atlantean or Mermail from the hand or graveyard, and if you do, equip it with this card. Okay, you know what? I'll take that. If equip monster would be destroyed by battle card effect, and send this card to the graveyard instead, so this does give us the ability to absorb a blow. And then you can banish this card from your graveyard to target three fish, sea serpent, and or Aqua Monster in your graveyard or banishment, shuffle them into the deck. Does not let you draw the card. Um, this is just a little mini resource generation that they're throwing into the Mermail thing here and going, hey, I know a lot of you guys want resource recursion. I think that's okay. Uh, but overall, I mean, this this Mermail stuff, I, I like this card a lot. Uh, I, I do want to be able to uh, sack a little bit harder with that. But you know what? I, I will take this. And then, we also had the Puppet Shark style. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you, I think this card is sick. Like, this card actually is one of the coolest looking cards I have seen. Uh, so, you can activate one card with this card's name per turn. So, you detach a Exceed Material from your monsters. Uh, I really wish that this said any monster on the field. We're kind of at that era, but okay. So, if we detach one from our cards, we can activate the top four cards of the deck and choose one of them and apply an effect based on its type and place the rest on the top of the deck in the same order. All right, so this lets you basically pull one of your resources. So if it's monsters or spell, we can add it to your hand. So technically you could get an Excavate 4 to pull an Ash Blossom if you need a hand trap, which is kind of cool. Or if you excavate a trap card, it can be activated this turn and gives you the ability to set it, which I think that's kind of good in itself. Like, this card actually has uses. Like, I'm, I'm actually very happy for that. Um, the little rest of the notes here for this, uh, this was our first look at the little dragon, which I think that card looks so sick. Uh, confirmation on the Doom Caliber and the Swords of Revealing Light for Worlds this year. Konami's also going to be doing this Quarter Century pack, which is going to come with cards in both the classic look and the modern look, which is really, really cool here. A uh, huge list of these things here. Nice little showcase for these. This is so cool to see. The Democ and the Aquamador look fantastic. And then the Quarter Century Black Luster Soldier set with the coin and the mat looks fantastic. Dragon Master Magi is coming to Master Duel. Uh, Duel Links sweepstakes for Nibiru, lol. All right, and then Looks like some little skills here. So this is why they invited the Chronomaly guy. They, they were dropping him into Master Duel. There's a lot of talk about this. I'm kind of wondering here if we will get the chance to see this later on. Also, confirmation on the dragon here. I mentioned in the last video, but evidently this thing has 4,500 attack, 4,500 defense. All right, your uh, your opponent cannot target this fusion summon card. With cards effects cannot be destroyed, and it gains forty five hundred attack and defense while you have twenty five or more cards in your graveyard. So I mean, three monsters with an original attack twenty five and twenty five. So if you thought that it was and or with the original way to make it, unfortunately, no, uh, we are now limited in that regard. That really stinks. Actually, this card had some really cool potential, but now I have to hard draw three monsters with 2,500 original attack and defense, so they have to be 25-25 in order to cheese that out. But you know what? We tried. It was a cool idea, but you know what? I'll take it. So what do you guys think about the craziness today? Please, leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. 
patrons. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.